Okay, so creative minds i did this thing recently where i started practicing how to create a basic pattern and also how to apply that to my basic pattern so yeah i did a part one where i practice how to create a basic pattern with one that okay the waist that now that video it's a simple detail has all the information that you will need as a beginner or self taught designer so if you want to practice go watch that video okay i'm just going to put the link on the description box so go watch learn and then come back to this this is the part four okay so yeah i did not end there i started to do like a part two where i did a deep dive of how to create a basic pattern with two that okay the waist that and the bust that okay so that particular video also detailed simple has all the information that you will need as a beginner or a self-taught designer now i keep saying beginner or self-taught de designer because i personally i see myself as both because every day i learn how to so the journey never ends okay so as long as i'm alive the journey continues okay so yeah i did not end there i tried to create the part three and this time around i did a, a deep dive of how to create a basic pattern with three darts the waist the bust and the shoulder that now you guys these are not the darts available the only that available okay there is the neckline that there is the armhole that there is there are other that you can apply to your basic pattern or your garments or your outfits to get the fitted look that you want but i started to just practice these three that i have mentioned and i started to show you how i practice these three and yeah so i'm going to be doing other practice of other that but this for this for now these are the three that i have practiced and these are the three that i'm bringing to you now i promise on my part three that i'm going to be showing you guys how to um cut your pattern on the fabric for those of you that are always complaining i don't know what that is i don't know how to um transform my dart to the fabric i don't know how to now this particular video is for you because i'm going to be showing you how to cut your pattern on a folded fabric and how to carefully transfer your dart from the pattern to the fabric and how to sew in your dart join your front pattern to your back pattern which is your front piece to your back piece okay so that is what this part four is all about okay so we are going to be practicing this together and at this point i also want to let you know that um i'm going to be cutting only two patterns on this video the part one pattern and the part three pattern because the part one and the part two is almost the same the difference is that the boss that on the part one i did not explain but on the part two i explained the bust that okay so that is why i'm going to cut only one pattern for that and then the shoulder that which is the part three okay so yeah we're cutting two pattern on this video and i'm just going to carry you guys along all the process okay every step you need to take as a beginner or a self-taught designer i got you okay so yeah thank you for sticking with me from the beginning to the end and please don't forget to subscribe if you're new like this video and if you have any suggestion or any question anything just let me know in the comment section i will be online and available for you okay so i am ready to answer your question i see i got you okay i keep saying this because i really do got you okay so yeah let me go ahead and start um cutting the pattern okay so thank you once more and let's dive into the actual video so the next thing i want to talk about is what fabric is good for this particle what fabric should you get for me i was able to get a very cheap lining fabric because girl this is a practical okay so what do you do when you're doing practical you get a cheap stuff that you can use before you get it correct okay so i got a cheap lining fabric and i'm going to use this to practice if my pattern drafting and my dart application is correct and I would advise you to get something cheap like this or get something cheaper. If you're in Nigeria, there's this Ankara that they sell for six yard, 1002. Get something like that. Use it to practice your pattern drafting and your dart application before you transfer into your actual fabric, okay? So get a cheap fabric and let's practice this together. The next thing now is for us to cut the pattern on the fabric. And I'll be cutting the part one pattern on this uh, on the next clip so this is my lining fabric like i said that's what i got the first thing i'll do is fold the fabric into two okay i'm going to fold it into two now i explain the reason why we fold the fabric into two i explained that on the pattern drafting videos i kept saying that we always draft out our pattern for one side of the body and once you have that one side 
when you're placing that pattern on a fabric you have to now fold your fabric into two so that you can get the two side that you need okay so that is why i'm folding my fabric into two and i am ironing it right now so yeah iron to make sure everywhere lays flat especially if you're a beginner this step is for you iron your fabric make sure everywhere lays flat before you go into the next step okay now the next thing for you to do is grab your pattern and then confirm if the pattern you're working with has allowance around it okay i am just showing you guys the allowance i have on my pattern and if your pattern has allowance already you don't have to add allowance while cutting on the fabric but if it doesn't you now have to add the allowance while cutting on the fabric okay so for me my pattern here has um the allowance of half an inch round and i'm going to be working with that now the next thing you're going to do is place your pattern on your fabric and i'm showing you guys that your pattern needs to sit on the close edge the center front of your pattern needs to sit on the close edge of the fabric okay this is the front pattern and it should sit on a closed edge remember you folded your fabric into two one side of it is closed the other side is open so make sure your pattern sits on the close edge the center front and then pin the pattern to the fabric okay very simple now we're going to be transferring the darts and we're going to be starting with the waist dart. now this is how you transfer your waist dart. grab you a chalk or a fabric marker and now where you have your darts okay where you have the darts use your chalk or your fabric marker to make the points on the fabric okay transfer it by making the points where they are sitting on the fabric see me i just made my own point and the next is where my waist that stopped where it stopped i'm just gonna press with one hand i'll use one hand to press and i'll use the other hand to go behind and make the mark of where the hand is pressing okay i'm just going to make the mark of where this my hand here is pressing down i will make the mark on my chalk and i have successfully transferred my waist that okay so see me confirming and now i'm going to cut this okay so i'll cut this off before i make the marks or the dark line clearer on the fabric okay so let me go ahead and cut remember i'm not adding any more allowance because the pattern already came with an allowance um, half an inch round on the neckline the shoulder the armhole the side the length i have half an inch round so no more allowance okay i'm cutting directly on the fabric like that so if you don't have allowance please make sure you confirm and add your allowance okay it is very necessary you add allowance sewing allowance before you cut your pattern on the fabric okay very very necessary And you can see the way i'm taking my time to cut now me i cannot say i'm a, a beginner beginner and i still take my time like this to cut so if you're a beginner you, there is no need for you to watch any of the process just take your time and make sure everything is correct so now i'm just going to carefully take off my pins because i need to make the dart line clearer on my fabric and also transfer it to the other side remember this fabric here is two side so i need to make sure it is clearer on this side and on the other side okay so i'll use my ruler now to make sure that my dart line is clearer on the fabric by following the lines that i have indicated duplicating it back on the fabric okay so see because i have the lines the dart already on the waist on the length i'm just following that line and i'm recreating my darts and now i'm using my scissors to make a notch because now i need to transfer this dart to the other side of the fabric okay two side of fabric here one side has the dart now for me to get to the other side, I need to use my scissors to make notches and then transfer this point to this side. See what I did? I'm pressing with this finger here and I'm transferring to this other side here. Okay, so you see I have the point here and now the notches here with the scissors is obvious. And if you want, you can use your ruler to make the lines. The same line you have here, you can make it at the other side. And this is what you should have. Two sides, like I said. So see the center front that i have been screaming since this is the center front that's the line here let me show you guys so we created for one side and we placed it on the folded fabric and this is what we have two side now do you understand like this video if you do <laughs> okay 
like the video so you can see that the dart has been carefully transferred to the fabric and if you want it to be obvious on two sides just do the same thing we did on the first side when we we're transferring use your chalk or your fabric marker to make the lines clearer but yeah so let's go ahead and transfer the boss dart remember that that they were two dots on the pattern and now we're transferring the bust that so this is the bust that okay so i'm going to do the same thing i'll use my scissors to make notches now this notches i'm making is going to be affecting the both side of the fabric okay that is why i'm using my scissors and also use my chalk so yeah i want to make sure that it really shows on the fabric and this point here i'm just going to use my hand to press it and then use my other hand and the chalk to mark that point that my finger is pressing just the same way we did for the waist that okay so now that i did that i'll also make notch at this other side we are at the beginning of the dart the bust that that's the bust line if you want to you can go ahead and rule it out but i'm not going to be ruling it out i feel like you guys get the point just the same thing we did on the waist that that's the same thing you would do on the bust that okay use your finger to press i'm pressing and i'm transferring to the other side use your fingers to press and use your um, scissors to make notches at the wider side of the dart and you're good okay so you can see that the notches here are obvious and when i'm sewing i can sew in my bust that okay if yours are not obvious make sure you notch onto it it's obvious but not too much um, notch you know so you don't spoil the fabric just notch a little bit and make sure that it is obvious and you can see that the, that has been successfully transferred now the next thing we're going to be doing is transferring the dart on the back pattern so at this point i feel like you already know how it goes okay the same way we did on the front pattern the same thing we're doing on the back so this is my back pattern and remember it is one side okay one side of the pattern and my fabric is already folded into two and i'm confirming my allowance it is there the next thing i'll do is place my back pattern on the fabric but this time around i don't need my back pattern to my back or my center back to sit on the closed edge I don't need it to sit on the close edge because i have my zip allowance there i remember if there is zip that means there is opening at the back so yeah just make sure that your fabric is folded into two and you're placing your pattern and you're pinning this down okay pin this down and another thing i needed to tell you guys is that there is a video i watched and they kept emphasizing on the fact why it is important to iron your fabric before you cut your pattern or before you even cut any design and i so agree with it because if you're a beginner or even not a beginner advanced professional for you to be able to get neat work you need to always like iron your fabric press it okay press it for everywhere to be flat and clean before placing your pattern or before cutting any style because this, it's going to help your work look neater okay number one way to get a neat work is by pressing okay so do press your fabric first before placing your pattern and you can see what i did here i used my chalk to make those um lines on the dots i made the lines there on the fabric and now i'm cutting so when i cut i'll do the same thing i did on the front i'm going to use my scissors to make notches at the dots and also i'll use my finger to press you know those same thing i did i'll do that but at this point you should really understand okay as a beginner if you're paying attention you should really understand so i'll use my scissors now to make those notches like i said so carefully make the notches on the darts so you can indicate on the both fabrics so take off your pins just like i am doing and you can see that the points are obvious so i'm using my chalk to make it clearer so anyone can see what i'm doing and then i'll use my ruler to rule out the dart okay just the same thing we did on the front so by this time making the back you should really understand how to transfer your dart okay so i'm just following the lines creating the same dart i have on my pattern And then i'll transfer this dart now to the other side of the fabric okay just the same way i did i'm just going to press here and then take to the back of my chalk and make a point where my hand is pressing and make a notch with my scissors so it goes to the other side okay so it's obvious at the other side 
and now when i turn this to the other side this is the other side you see that the dots is obvious on every part okay so this is the zip allowance sorry i got carried away let me show you guys the dot so the dot is obvious this is the dot here see the notches and this is the point okay so when sewing this is what we're going to be sewing so let's go ahead and sew out that okay now we're going to be sewing the front piece of course and the waist dart because that's what we started with so let me show you how i sew in my dart now this is my front piece and this is the dart i'm just confirming again that we have the dart here at this point the dart here is obvious and i'm going to start sewing okay so the first thing you need to do when you're about to sew in your dart is to confirm the lines if you have the lines this is the second part of the dart so confirm the lines and then hold like hold it together okay hold the two dark legs together and remember that you always sew in your darts from the wider part of the dart okay the wider part of the darts um legs not the narrow part the wider part that's where you start sewing in your darts from and you go straight to the narrow part not straight just following the lines you just go to you get to the narrow part okay so for beginners follow the lines make sure you rule out the lines of your darts on the fabric before sewing but if you're not a beginner you know how to sew in your darts just do what i'm doing hold your dart and then sew from the wide part to the narrow part carefully and gently do not rush it okay so you see what i did i started from the wide part of the dart and i sewed till i got to the narrow part I'm going to cut off the thread but leave it a little bit because I need to tie this point okay where I have the narrow part of the dart I need to tie the thread because that's where it stops so it does not loosen or anything I'll tie it and then cut out a little bit of excess but not so much just a little bit of excess and that is it okay so I'll repeat the same step on the other side so on this other side you can see that there is no line of that i'll show you how i'm going to be sewing it so on this other side there is no line so i have the point there i'm just going to hold the two notches like this the two notches i have on the on the side and then i'll hold the two notches and then sew from the wide part so i get to the point there where the um that stops the narrow part of the dart okay so you can see very easy just the same way i did on the other side but here there is no line to direct me i'm just following you know my intuition <laughs> okay again again i'm gonna tie and then cut out a little bit of excess and that is it okay so you have your um congratulations you just sewed in your dart if you're doing this for the first time now like i said the another important thing you need to do is iron so go ahead and iron this okay now before we get into the important part of ironing let's go ahead and sew in the um boss that okay so this is the boss that we have two notches here there is no line directing us but we have the point where it starts and where it ends okay so the two notches is the point where i'm going to start from and then the point um the narrow point where i have a mark with my chalk is where it's going to end so i'm just going to follow that line like that and then when i get to the narrow part i'll make sure that i reduce um i don't know how to explain but i'll just make sure that i create like a cone or a triangle okay i'm just sewing from the white part of the triangle to the narrow part of the triangle if you get so tie your dart when you're done sewing at the narrow part always tie it so it does not loosen or anything and then cut out a little bit of excess thread if you have and repeat on the other side okay repeat so i was just telling you guys the iron because it's very important but yeah we're going to be ironing it together let's sew in this part of the bust that the two notches is obvious the point is there hold the two notches together so from the white part to the narrow part now i want to believe that if you're a beginner and you followed my series just the way i lay them out you watch the pattern drafting and you got to this point here <laughs> you cannot tell me that you you don't know how to sew mm -mm, there is no possible way Mba. there is no way please if you have gone through all those things and you are here and you still don't know how to sew or apply your that send me a message here now 
let me rectify that issue if i need to go to your village or do something for you <laughs> no there is no possible way okay so yeah let me know in the comment section if this video has been of help but we're not done okay so just let me know just let me know right now if at this point you're understanding everything that we are doing okay so like i said the most important part of your of you getting a neat sewing is ironing okay so go ahead and iron in your dart iron them so it is flat and so you know that you did not make a mistake okay iron your darts okay now let's go ahead and sew in the darts on the back piece so while we're doing this back piece on is just like revising what we just did on the front piece okay the same thing we did on the front piece this is the point where the darts will stop this is the white part of the dart so from the white part to the point where it stops okay if you root out the line of the dart on the fabric follow the lines if you don't have the lines you have your notches on the white parts start sewing from that white part where you have those notches and then sew to the narrow part where you have the points okay so this is just repetition okay the back pattern it is just repetition of the front so um chale if you are, if you've done the first one the front and you're doing this one congratulations this is the second time you're sewing in your dad <laughs> so hold in the notches one more time and sew from the white part of the dart to the narrow part to the smaller part of the dart to where the dart stops okay to the stopping point of the dart white part to the narrow part okay and you're good you're done now um the next thing i'm going to be doing is optional i'm going to be sewing the two piece of the back piece together like the both piece i'm going to sew it in on the zip side and i'm going to be sewing one inch from the top to the base okay i'm sewing in one inch from the top to the base now why i'm just doing this is because i need to iron this out and join the back to the front and i want you guys to just see the process it actually really takes for you to do that okay for the beginners okay if you're not a beginner you understand how to do your that bye bye be gone but if this is your first time you've never sewn before you want to know how to sew your back piece your front piece continue with me so we're going to sew the zip allowance on the top to the base one inch and then we'll take this iron this and i'll show you the next thing you need to do so this is the back see the way it is looking as if it is the front right because we have sewn in the zip allowance and we're just going to iron this out so this is how you should do it anytime you're about to sew your like a top i would advise you to do it this way make sure you iron down the zip side before you open it back up to attach your zip it is going to make your work really easier it is going to make attaching your zip to your back really easy when you do it like this okay you iron first everywhere is flat the zip side too is flat and then you go ahead with your seam repair and open up that back piece that back side the zip you have that line already indicated from the ironing and now you can sew your zip very very easy it's going to be it's going to be an easy job for you so sewing in my front and my back piece i'm going to sew on the sides by half an inch sew on the shoulders by half an inch because on my pattern drafting i only left half an inch round my pattern okay so half an inch here half an inch here on the shoulders half an inch and yeah so anyways i am so grateful and i'm so happy that i practiced this and i had you practicing this with me and yeah it was a very very sweet and educating video to film because while i was doing this i also learned a few more things and i was glad that you know teaching you guys also bring knowledge to me so please let me know in the comment section what you think if there is any issue if there is any misunderstanding let me know in the comment section if you have a question for me if you have a suggestion for me whatever it is you have for me let me know in the comment section or you can email me there's an email on my channel that you can send an email to and i will get it okay so yeah do that and this is not the end of the video we are going to be sewing the second dart that's the third pattern which is the shoulder dart 
it is really different from this one okay so i would advise you to stick around and wait for the video it's coming next after this one the next video i'm uploading less than for um 72 hours that's less than three days it will be up expect that okay so let's sew that that and see the result okay that we're going to be getting from sewing our shoulder that but anyway this is the result i got now you see the way it looks this is how it looks when you create a an outfit or a garment adding your bust and your waist that now this is supposed to be tight okay i did not add zip to this if i show you the back there was no zip added to this and this is the fit it gave now imagine me adding a zip it is going to be very tight and very fitted that is what the waist and the bust that does okay see i had to pin this to show you guys there was no zip now imagine making an outfit a dress or something and adding the bust and the waist that you're going to be really snatched you're going to really really like the result in fact let me show you guys some of the outfits that you can create applying the bust that and the waist that okay let me show you some of the few like some of the few outfits okay so this dress you can see that it has the bust and the waist that let me come closer okay so let me zoom it so see on this dress what was applied to it was the bust and the waist that and you can see how snatched she looked that's the same dress here the bust and the waist that so there are so many outfits that you can create um applying only the bust and the waist that and you're going to really get a fitted outfit a dress a top whatever it is a jumpsuit chale it is going to be fitted trust me okay so do not limit yourself do not say okay you've not learned the data you want to learn any that can give you what you want okay so it's just how do you apply it okay so see this beauty now see this beautiful outfit that the only applied the bust and the waist that and it came out like this so yeah there are so many things you can do learning how to apply this that so i would advise you if you have not seen the part one the part two or the part three of this that creation go back to my playlist i have it available for you the title is teach yourself how to sew watch it and thank me later okay don't forget to subscribe i love you guys so much i'll be seeing you on my next video love and light to you bye 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 <laughs> bye for now <laughs>